My name is Vlad, I'm from Moscow, Russia, and it is such a great privilege for me to be in the United States of America, and I'm here to share with you a lot of stories how I uh, get Bibles, how I would even smuggle Bibles uh, and New Testaments and so on and so forth. Uh, here in America, a lot of people do not understand that uh, they in Russia would not have access to Bibles. They would say, well, would not believe you. You could go to Walmart or any other mall and get Bibles. But it's not really the truth. Because in Russia, we do not have any access to Bibles or New Testaments or whatever. It could be only one uh, Christian bookstore within like 500 miles or so, like I would uh, tell you that, for instance, in the city of Yekaterinburg, which is capital of uh, the Ural region and uh, with population of uh, a million and a half, they used to have one Christian bookstore, but they now don't have it. So uh, the Lord uh, gave me a wonderful chance to distribute Bibles all over Russia, and I have a lot of lists of uh, people who would like to get Bibles and New Testaments and I would like to tell you an interesting and fascinating story I would uh, uh, think of. Uh, for instance, uh, about this time last year, uh, Tommy Williams and his group, I am Father Urals, they were in Ekenberg uh, with me. And uh, some believers told me that uh, they had a warehouse full of New Testaments. And uh, those uh, people said, would you be able to take them all? And I said, yeah, uh, by faith I would take everything. And I didn't know how I would be able to take all those New Testaments from that warehouse. And a couple days later, uh, we went to see our good friend, his uh, Orthodox uh, priest. Uh, we have had a friendly relationship with him for about three or four years. And we had a very nice conversation with uh, his family and his children and so on and so forth. And then we went to his Orthodox Church and we asked about uh, his beliefs and what people do during the service and so on and so forth. And uh, then it was time to say goodbye. And uh, when uh, we said uh, goodbye, I said, uh, one moment, uh, uh, Vitaly, I would like to ask you a question. Uh, do you need some New Testaments? And he said, well, you brought me a couple boxes and it's enough. And I said, what about uh, to get in touch with some people in the Russian army or elsewhere so that uh, would be able to supply their need? And he promised to give me a call. And then uh, just uh, next day he called me and uh, I received that phone call and he said that those people needed 100 thousand New Testaments and I was kind of spellbound and I thought to myself maybe I overheard something and I said 100 Bibles he said no not 100 Bibles but 100 New Testaments if possible and I, and I asked why so many and he said well because uh, you know that guy who is a priest and he's responsible like for seven regions and it won't be even enough so I may tell you a lot of stories you know when even a yellow uh, Paged Bibles or New Testaments, which uh, were kind of uh, uh, covered with moisture, covered with mold or whatever. Just uh, I would take those from warehouse, dry them up, and then give to someone in Moscow. And uh, that person would be able to distribute uh, like 2,000 uh, New Testaments within only uh, one week or so. So there are a lot of miracles uh, the Lord allows. Uh, uh, you know, to be involved in, and the Lord gives me opportunity to distribute more than a million Bibles, New Testaments, Bible storybooks, uh, brochures, tracts, uh, Christian newspapers, uh, DVD, Jesus film, and so on and so forth, taken together, you know, a million copies every year uh, for more than 10 years.